Hi, I'm Johnny Peacock and I'm working with Simply Health to help keep the nation on top of their health and well-being. This evening we're doing a fun 30 minute workout that you can all do from the comfort of your own home. This is going to be for all abilities, so please guys just try and get off the sofa and get involved. If there's an exercise that you think is just a little bit tough, then just try and adapt it a little bit or maybe just set that one aside and join on the next one. But it's all about having fun, getting up, getting involved. We just want to get a little bit of dopamine in our systems, get some happiness, happiness going. And if you stick around to the end, there'll be a little question and answering session. So let's get stuck in. So now that we've done a little bit of easy bouncing stretches, we're just going to transition those into a little bit more dynamic. So if you just find yourselves a nice wall or something that you can hold onto, we're just going to do some leg swings. So just in front, nice and easy. Watch out that you don't kick everyone in the face. As you're doing this, obviously everyone's got good space in between themselves. And we just got a good kick in front and a good kick behind. And you can do anywhere between six and 12 of these, depending on how you feel. And then we're gonna do the same on the front, but we're gonna go sideways. So all of these are really good just to open up the range in your hips, your hamstrings, just that whole lower leg situation. This is something that I do every day to make sure that we have the range. Because for me, being a sprinter, big part of it is about striving. And if I'm tight in my hip flexors, that's not gonna let me go very far. So we have to try and increase our range. So flexibility, hugely important. Okay, so now we're gonna start some drills. Um, these are stuff that I do every day in training just before I run. Um, these are gonna be more explosive type drills. We're gonna break as well. We're gonna do kind of 10 reps, I guess we'll call them, them either the steps or a single movement. I'll, I'll talk you through it. Just gonna keep on 10, we're gonna break, have a little bit of rest, and go again. Like I said, the sprint is everything's intense and lots of rest. So the first drill we're gonna do is just an A skip. So it's effectively just skipping, but taking our knees up. This one, it might take a little bit of coordination, so have a bit of fun with it. Um, you know, it might take you a few goes to kind of get that, that timing and rhythm, but it's effectively, it's just a skip. And you pick the knee up as well. Alternate leg to alternate hand. Nice and upright. Just move in front of you. And keep it nice and chill, nothing too crazy. Obviously, nice bit of a pop off from the hips, really activates everything. For me, it's a great drill for just making sure that we've got good reflection and we're ready to strike the ground when we're gonna go again. That was an A skip. Um, obviously, it's a bit more about coordination, hips. We're gonna move on a little bit, a bit more intense, so just a high knee. Hopefully, everyone's done these at home. So again, we're just gonna do 10. With this exercise, the best thing to think about is just being nice and tall. With all of these drills, when you're an athlete, everything's about the lines. So what we don't want to be doing is just trying to be crunched over, leaning to the side, everything nice and upright. So with me, everyone, we're just gonna do 10 of these, 10, so five each side. And if you want, you can have your hands in front of you, if that helps, um, or you can obviously just do it like a running. So like this, I'm just gonna go with high knees. That's it, we're just going to do 10 uh, to start off with. If anyone finds that super easy and not enough, obviously we can do 20, 30. These are all yours. You know, go away with it, have a play with it, just do as many as you feel comfortable. Um, we'll just do it again. I'm going to do it with my hands in front of me this time because sometimes that helps. Um, if you see me from the side as well, what I'm not doing with this drill is I'm not leaning backwards, I'm staying over myself. Again, everything's in front, front side mechanics. Getting those hips nice and ready, getting the glutes ready to strike that floor. Okay, so those are our drills. Uh, obviously, like I say, I do those every day um, before my sprinting exercises. It just really fires up those glutes and hips. 